YouTube, what's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. I'm Real Divine. Hope everyone's having a dope day today as the title states down below we're gonna be breaking down one of my favorite things anime and specifically the best hood anime to watch boy we about to get straight into this video uh make sure you guys leave a like if you guys do enjoy the video and let's get straight to it all right guys so anime I'm an OG anime fan. I've been watching anime for before. It was even cool to watch anime to where you used to get bullied to watch anime. I'm talking about I was in third grade watching Naruto powering up. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. So I go a ways back. Um, so I know a lot, a lot of anime. And I'm going to break you guys. I'm going to break down the best anime for, you know, uh, black people, hood community. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm black myself. Um, so we're gonna jump down and start with the most hood anime, and we're gonna go straight from there. All right, boys, so we're gonna drop and start with number one for the most hood thug show animator is out there to this day, and ironically, a lot of people don't even know about this one. And this is number one, and I'm talking about my boy Afro Samurai. If you don't understand or know who Afro Samurai is, I need to get y'all educated today because my nigga Afro is a savage. Many men wish death upon me. Blood in my eye, dog, and I can't see. I'm trying to be what I'm destined to be. And niggas trying to take my life away. I put a hole in a nigga for fucking with me. My back on the wall, now you gon' see. Better watch how you talk when you talk about me Cause I'll come He's so cold, they had this show animated or voice acted by Samuel L. Jackson Samuel L. Jackson's in the anime, I bet y'all didn't even know that He's cold in this anime but, too hey, we gotta circle, we gotta circle, boys. Um, Afro Samurai's about a samurai self-explanatory with an afro and He just fucking shit up Uh, to make the story oh, a little God. quick for you guys, it's about, um it's, it's, they're in a universe or in a world where there's um, headbands and if you have the number one headband, you're like the strongest, the most badass um, ninjas, samurais, swordsmen, whatever you want to call them in the um in the the world and you have to have the number two to challenge the number one or they have to have number three to challenge the number two and vice versa. So my boy Afro is in this universe and he's going for the number one headband. I'm not going to spoil too much because this fucking anime is fire. It's so simple, but it's so fucking fire underrated. People don't know about this. And if you a nigga and you, you want to watch some hood anime that's still raw animation, cool as hell, Afro Samurai is the GOAT. They even got a movie. Bro, Afro Samurai, people don't understand how beasty Afro Samurai really is. Go check it out. Moving on to number two, we got the Big Daddy Grandmaster anime, and that is Dragon Ball Z. Now, Dragon Ball Z is is literally it's literally niggas, but they 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 quote unquote Saiyans, if you ask me, because they got tails. Literally, they get their tails ripped off. They literally fucking freeze. We call them monkeys and shit. <laughs> Hello, monkeys. Literally, Dragon Ball Z. They damn near niggas, if I'm be real with you. Um, and even Piccolo. Piccolo green, but Piccolo's a nigga. I'm, I'm gonna throw the picture up. Piccolo's literally a nigga. Goku, Vegeta, all them, them, them niggas, bro. I don't care what you tell me. Um, Dragon Ball Z, everybody in the hood, everybody know Dragon Ball Z. Super Saiyans, leveling up, some raw fighting. Everybody in the hood fuck with Dragon Ball Z. I don't even care if you like the most hoodest, hoodest nigga out there. Like, I'm talking about 10 toes down on the street every day. Nigga, you know what fucking Dragon Ball Z is. Everybody know what Dragon Ball Z is. So that's number two. Um, I'm not going to break it down too much because Dragon Ball Z needs no introduction. Um, so yeah, that's number two. Moving on to my third one, I got, um, this is kind of like right behind Dragon Ball Z and like, you know what I'm saying, nigginess and hoodness and whatnot, but it's still one of the most fired animes out there, that is Naruto. 
Naruto, Naruto, Naruto. This is another childhood anime I grew up on personally, and Naruto is fire. Literally, there's so many um, metaphors to real life in Naruto. It's crazy discrimination, um, isolation, bullying, um, war, uh, politics. There's so much in Naruto. Family, relationships. Naruto gets so fucking deep. Literally has black characters on there. Um, I think the person who first saved Naruto was a black character. Um, literally. Then you got my nigga. Um, oh, why can't I think of his name right now? Uh, Fuck, I can't think of his name. The Eight Tails. Damn, I can't think of his name. But you got the Eight Tails in your Cherokee. He literally a nigga. He got hella swords and he raw as hell. He gave Sasuke that work. Main character gave Sasuke with the fucking shower gun that work. Sure. Nigga, ain't, he said, he said, he said, you got the mods? So I don't give a fuck about that. You about to take these hands, little nigga. Start giving that nigga that work. Naruto is another one that's stamped in the hood community um, or in the black community, just whatever you want to call it. Um, Naruto is guarded for sure. Uh, make sure you guys check that out. But it really don't need too much introduction, like Dragon Ball Z. Um, so yeah, we're gonna move on to the last one. Oh shit! Moving on, we got Baki. Baki, Baki, Baki. Now this is tech. It's not really new, but the newer version is what kind of made it more popular. Um, they have an older version um of the anime, but I didn't even know about it until the new one came out and they put it on Netflix. But Baki is fire. Baki, cause bro, you don't understand. A lot of niggas, a lot of hood people. We like to in anime. We like to just see niggas throw hands and just get straight to it. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to do. And Baki, they get straight to it. Not too much talking. Not too much crazy shit. They get straight to it. And this second season with my boy Pickle, man, this shit done got crazy. I'm loving Baki. Um, it didn't, even has a uh, main black character, um, Oliver. Um, he's the world's strongest American. He's a black man. Um. And literally, that's the case a lot of times in America. Like, um, like the strongest man competition. I forgot the dude's name, but he was some big, big ass, dark skin nigga. He was strong as fuck, and literally, that's what they represent on Baki. They even got like Mike Tyson on there, but he somehow, for some reason, he a pussy compared to all the other niggas. Even though Mike Tyson's a fucking monster in real life compared to everybody else, like a literal fucking monster in person. Um. So yeah, Baki, if you're not hip to Baki, I'm going to throw some images up, throw some clips up when I, so make sure you guys go check that out. And that's pretty much it for my top best hood anime, um, our best anime hood edition, whatever you want to call this video. Um, but I do got one more bonus for you guys before I get up out of here. Let's get straight to the bonus. Okay, so for the bonus, this is for my OGs, you know what I'm saying, for sticking around. I got, you probably already know about this, if I'm be honest with you, and technically it's not an anime, but it's still technically an anime, it's kind of like a cartoon animation, um, but the Boondocks, the Boondocks represents the hood, literally. The Boondocks, the Boondocks, the Boondocks, honestly... Out of all the cartoons and animation, when it comes to like actual being hood, when it comes to actual being related to the community and whatnot, the Boondocks is number one. However, it's not technically a Japanese anime. Um, I believe it was made in America, you know, by some black folks, but it's still animated in that type of style, and it does have a lot of that type of um energy and a lot of fight scenes and stuff like that. Um, but the Boondocks. Boondocks, Boondocks is number one. Um, it's literally stamped in the hood community. Everybody know the Boondocks. Even my channel, a lot of my banners, a lot of the um, stuff. Honestly, a lot of stuff that I've talked about in this video is literally about my brand and my channel, who I am. And that's kind of a lot of the personality I get is from a lot of these animes and cartoons because they teach you more than just to just be entertaining and stuff. They actually teach you meaningful um, messages behind it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. That's um um it for today's video. I'm gonna wrap it up here. That's the best anime hood edition. Make sure you guys leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy the video. It helps me so so much to grow on YouTube. Also, smack 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 that subscribe button if you guys did enjoy the video. It helps me so so much. We are grinding. We back on the YouTube grind, baby. I'm gonna start doing story times, a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm not gonna talk too much. I guys, I just want you guys to see my content as it drops, and we gonna go crazy this year. So with that being said. I will catch you in my next one. Peace. Well, not to have my way. I'm on a plane, have my way. I'm in these forms, have my way. Calling the money, just have my way. Have my way, have my way. Currently, women, just have my way. I'm at the Gucci store, have my way. Flexing on.
on, nigga, just have it my way. Just have it my way. Just have it my way. Hit up your body, make you all I'm safe. I got the